Chris Christie is overseas. He's in the United Kingdom this morning, and he had hoped to be at the Cowboys Super Bowl. They didn't make it, of course, so the orange sweater is gone. Look at Chris Christie here with the scarf. He's at the Arsenal game. Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Home team Arsenal wins 5-0. Chris Christie wearing the team's colors now. Uh, there's been some buzz, and uh, we were talking about this before we came on. A lot of people didn't know who Chris Christie was. Uh, that's a good thing, right? They're not supposed to know who he is, right? <laughs> no, no. I feel like it would be, it would be infamy for something right. if, he, if they knew where he was at this point. You know, this is, this is one of the things that uh, presidential contenders do to burnish their foreign policy credentials. It's a trade mission. Um, he said he's there for New Jersey, but, you know, he's also meeting with David Cameron today. Yeah, I'm guessing, John, that if, if some prominent official, for example, in Wales, showed up for a New York Jets game, he wouldn't have much name ID either. So um, I think it's par for the course. And um, uh, But here we are seeing Governor Christie on the world stage trying to sort of establish himself as, as more statesman than Garden State Paul. It's going to be fun to watch. He said a few moments ago, uh, we're just seeing the interviews come across the pond, um, he was <laughs> asked about vaccinations. And he says uh, Mary Pat, his wife, uh, and he have had their kids vaccinated. And he makes clear that he thinks for some diseases it should be a non but he does say there should be some options for parents in some cases. So I won't want to see the entire transcript, but he's wading into a debate that is front and center now in the country. It comes up every now and then, but this winter season, it's come up again. You know, you wonder about, so we were talking about this a little bit before, you wonder who he would offend if you, he said, you know, vaccinate your kids, full stop. You know, it, the, the, move, the anti-vaccination movement is, seems to be such a small, focused group of people at this point. Who is he going to offend by saying that? Just, I'm really just curious. It's puzzling because those who actually have become part of this very small group of uh, anti-vaccination parents are actually sort of affluent liberals, mostly in places like San Diego, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. So it's not really a right-wing <laughs> movement here by any means. So who, says, yeah, yeah, who's he appeasing? Yeah. He says not every vaccine is created equal. Not every disease type is as great a public health threat as others. So that's what I meant by that. We'll continue to watch those comments.